I'm Dan, and this is Guns and Guitars. And by popular request, this is how to make a guitar knob out of a shotgun shell. For this mod, you're gonna need some shotgun shells, a good knife, a drill, pliers, and a hot glue gun. Okay, first thing, you're gonna need to fire off those shotgun shells. Now, if you're like me, then your friends are never available when you wanna go shooting, or you just don't have very many friends. So you gotta throw for yourself. So now you're gonna do it again, but this time with two clays. Okay, and now that our three shells are empty, we're ready to start this project. Take your sturdiest and sharpest knife and your best pair of work gloves and carefully cut the plastic off of the metal. This is harder than it looks and it takes a really sharp knife. That plastic is tough and doesn't cut easily. Please take care and take your time. Carefully shave away any leftover plastic so you're down to the bare metal. Once the plastic is cut off, you need to wash out the shell to make sure you remove any gunpowder residue that might be left. And be sure to prioritize this task over doing the dishes your wife asked you to do like forever ago. Then drill out the spent primer. A drill press makes this much easier, but as you can see, a simple hand drill and pliers will work just fine if you're careful. Now stop. Different pots have different shaft sizes, as well as different shotgun shells have different size primers. So real quick, just check to see if your shotgun shell will fit snugly on your pot shaft as is. If not, like this one, then proceed to the next step. Next, place your shell face down on a flat and smooth heat tolerant surface. Fill in the shell with hot glue and let it cool. When the glue has cooled and completely solidified, peel up your shell. Assuming you had a smooth flat surface, it should look something like this. Lastly, hold the shell with pliers and drill out the center for your pot shaft. It's best to start with a very small bit and step up to a size just a tad smaller than the shaft of your pot. A drill press makes it easier to drill straight down the center, but again, as you can see, a hand drill and pliers work just fine if you're careful and take your time. Now take a quick break and go finish those dishes before your wife gets home. You still gotta be a good husband. Now at this point, I usually like to take my knife and scrape out the excess glue for a cleaner look. And that's it. Press that shotgun shell down on your pot shaft, and now you've got the most bad asterisk guitar knobs in town. Now you can use this exact same concept on just about any spent bullet casing. For example, I use the casing of a 22 round on my Strat's five-way selector switch. Just be creative. Currently, I'm trying to figure out how to make stacked concentric knobs for my bass preamp. If you wanna see that, subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna show you in a future video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, thanks for watching. And I'll be totally honest, I thought it was gonna take like a thousand takes to hit both clays that I threw myself. But actually, the more I practiced, the better I got at it. So check it out.